There's hope. Here comes Gigalith. We're gonna seed bomb. It's can I knock out Gigalith and can I live a hit from Gigalith? We're gonna find out, ain't we? Butterfree, go! Yo, whoa! What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Up to guys, another episode of our Pixelmon series here on the Pocket Pixels Red server, baby. If you guys are excited, you already know what to do with that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm chilling here in the hub. We got the nine days of Christmas login event, massive 40% off sale, and the brand new Christmas crate available for a limited time. We're gonna check that out. If you guys don't know, I've been playing on the red server. You guys can play on yellow, green, or blue, whatever fits your fancy. Sometimes the red server's full, which you need to rank. You can also play on these other servers. I just had a series on yellow. All sorts of good stuff. So let's jump into it. Let's get it going. Our Shawnee only quest. We have to try, try to take on the rock type gym again today. So I lost in the last episode, but you can see in the description. And I think we're gonna try to take on the next gym too. Maybe two gyms today, maybe just one. We'll see how it's gonna go. But I do have 10 Christmas crate keys and the newest thing, Shawnee legendary boost tokens. So this new thing got added to the shop. You guys already knew about the Shawnee boost token because I use them all the time. They amplify your chance of getting a Shawnee but they added Shawnee legendary boost tokens, which not only increase your chance of getting a Shawnee, but they increase your chance of getting a legendary as well, independently and together, right? So they increase the chance of a Shawnee legendary, a legendary and a Shawnee all at once. And you guys can get those in the shop. I'll show you. When you go to shop.pocketpixels.net, you can actually get all the cool stuff. Head to the featured items section if you haven't done so yet and pick up your A-Drive welcome kit. It should be up here somewhere. There it is. Get your new A-Drive reset welcome kit. There's all sorts of good stuff. You got the content creator keys. The Christmas keys are available now. All sorts of good stuff at shop.pocketpixels.net. Now I'm gonna do warp crates and they are all Christmas presents for the holidays, which is super awesome. And you guys already know about the A-Drive creator crate, which is what we were rocking with before. I did pick up some other crates. There's all the creator crates that you can use. Random, Mitzan, all these guys. Show some love to the other creators. But let me tell you guys, my understanding is this is apparently the best crate of all time. That's what I've been told. Features Shiny Delibird, Shiny Snover, Shiny Roly Coley, Shiny Alolan Sandshrew, Shiny Glaceon, Alolan Vulpix, Winter Snorlax, Drown Starmie, Strike Vivion, Drown Claydol, Shiny Articuno, Shiny Regice, Galarian Articuno, Frosted Go Goat, and Creator Xerneas. That is it. So I am gonna shiny in today. I'm not gonna use the shiny I find in the crate. If I get a shiny right now, I'm not gonna use it today. But we'll see what we get anyway. Let's give it a rip. Our first Christmas crate. And again, this is a limited time only available because of the holiday season. So just a happy holiday to you. And let's see what I'll get to start it. I'm gonna get a shiny deli bird to start it off. I'll probably give it one more, one more wahoo, and see if I can get another cool Pokemon. Let's see what the Christmas crate. I love how it's all like green and red too. Let's see what it has in store for me. I'm gonna get some coal. No, I'm gonna get a shiny Alolan Saint True, which I think is quite fancy actually. Some pretty cool stuff. We got our shiny Deli Bird and a shiny Alolan Saint True. So look at those. That's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not gonna use these as part of our shiny quest today, which is cool. But you guys can try out the crate yourself if you're feeling. So fancy, cause it's right here, Christmas crate. Try it out here. I'll even, I'll even give you. How do I just take one key? I just, I just throw a key on the ground. Have fun with it, and you too. You can have a key too. Enjoy. Have fun. I'm basically Santa Claus right now. I just got a gift box. What do I do with this? I have to wait until Christmas to open this gift. Oh, that's so sick. It's randomly a Christmas gift here. All right. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time I was at this location, I took on the Rock Type Gym and lost on a very unfortunate flinch. Now, if I had Sucker Punch, I would have had that problem solved. So I'm gonna use a move token on Flapple to give him Sucker Punch now, and that will hopefully solve all of my problems. I'm gonna get rid of Dragon Breath, because we're not gonna use that right now. I'm gonna get in the queue for the gym. Again, last time we lost, because I, I, ugh. It was rough. So let's see if I can beat it this time. All right, so I'm in it. We're gonna do what we do. You already know the team, because it's the Shiny Squad. So let's see if I choke this battle again. They're starting off with a car bank this time. That is not very good for me. Uh, he's gonna totally just set up Stealth Rocks, isn't he? I kind of want to just go for Struggle Bug, although it's not gonna do much. I guess I'll just Icy Wind. He probably just one-shots me, to be honest. 
I want to see if he's special or physical. But he probably just sets up stealth rocks. Something tells me it's not going to be quite that easy, though. Carving is going to be a problem. So Icy Wind, he goes for Sandstorm, which is kind of annoying. He's going to boost his special defense and chip away at us. Um, I kind of want to struggle bug in case he's a special attacker and has power gem. Uh, let's just Aurora Beam. He's going to set up Stealth Rocks. So that's what we kind of expected. I don't think one more Aurora Beam knocks him out. So I'm kind of tempted to struggle bug, but I think I just Aurora Beam again. Yeah, we got him in range. He goes for Trick Room. Oh, it's kind of a problem. I'm going to struggle bug. He just explosions. I actually live it though. So he's pretty weak. That actually works out for us. Here comes Gigalith. Oh, we are not stolen that out. That's a problem. That is a problem. He just destroys us with Gigalith. So this guy has a totally different strategy than the last time. This guy's got the whole Trick Room strategy going on and Sandstorm to boost up his Gigalith. So I don't really know. He's gonna rock slide and knock us out. We, our Charty Berry's a thing. Listen, I think, I think I go Kite. This isn't very good. I'm gonna just bubble beam and hope I can live a rock slide or maybe he misses the rock slide. I do have the charty berry. This is not good. I think we're gonna lose. I just couldn't beat that carving fast enough. I let him set up everything, dude. He used all four of his attacks. He's gonna rock slide, I live it. I get a bubble beam off, do some big damage. I have to just try to stall out more turns. I'm not gonna do that though. because Oh, okay, so Twisted Dimensions, do you end? So now I think he lost his, his hazards or he lost his trick room. So now as long as I'm faster, we're good. So what is his last Pokemon? Is it Archin? Is it something like that? Because we're going to Seed Bomb and knock him out. And then what's his last? It's Lunatone, which I actually feel okay with. I'm going to Seed Bomb. This is going to be close. I don't think Lunatone... Oh, he had Ice Beam on his Lunatone! Oh, I just got wrecked again by the Rock Gym! It's the second time I've lost. That one was a really unfortunate situation. So I have to try again. In two hours, which is not gonna happen today. I got wrecked by this guy. This is not going very well at all. This is not going very well at all. Our gym quest on the server has been a struggle. I just have like a really bad team for this. Um, like for real, I just have a terrible team for this because our team is, it's it's very weak. <laughs> it's very, very weak to, to that. So I think what I can do for the purposes of like continuing our series is I'm gonna shiny hunt our next Pokemon for the next gym, which I don't even know what the next gym is. Let's see here. Or if I just do gyms, what's gym two? Maybe I can plan ahead. So gym two is ice. So is there anything that would be good against this? Probably fighting, right? Like getting a good fighting type would be really good for both rock and for ice. So maybe I'm gonna try to shiny hunt my next Pokemon. I'm gonna have to tweak the rules a little bit here, I think, to potentially, um, you know, get another shiny for gym two, but maybe use it for gym one simply because again, I'm, I'm not really having much options here. We lost twice now. Both times are close. I could have sucker punched there. I don't think it was going to do enough. The other option I could have done was I could have, if I had dragon danced against the Gigalith, I would have won. So it's not like we're that far off here. And I think leading with Frostmoth, probably not my best play. Because if I had been able to come in and feather dance that Gigalith, we would have been in a better spot. So in hindsight, like I know that if I take on that gym again, I could probably you know, uh, beat the car bank in the front spot. Don't leave with Frost Moth is really what it comes down to. Because Feather Dance can allow Flapple to set up and we can win. But let's do that. Let's let's uh, use some of these brand new Shiny Legendary Boost tokens and see if I can find our next Shiny for the playthrough. I think I stumbled across the uh, edge of the world here, team. Not too shabby. I found like the corner of the world, which is super cool. Of course, I'm popping my Shiny Boost tokens and we will see what the uh the luck is for today this is actually really sick though i'm gonna fly over there yeah i'm not even gonna lie this would be a really sick place to set up your house like right at the corner of the world i like it that's dope yo shiny geo dude there it is our shiny for the day head in the ice type gym this isn't a terrible pickup what level are you you're level 15 honestly not bad at all i will I really don't think a wing attack will knock it out, but I'm not gonna chance it. Let's just chuck a Safari Ball at it and see if I can catch this. Beautiful Shiny Geodude, the Golden Nugget, which for Gym 2 could become a Golem. So I do catch it as well, which is not actually that bad. Let's take a look. We do get it, 80% IVs. So 
So very high IV. Sturdy is great. We can give it a berry. It's got timid nature to boost its speed, lower its attack. Pretty bad there. Its nature is very bad. But we do have this beautiful little nugget, which is what we're going to name it. We're going to name it Nugget. And let's take a look. That's our Fort Shiny on the playthrough here in a Safari Ball. Looking clean. A beautiful Shiny uh, Geodude, which I can evolve into a Graveler pretty easily with some rare candies. Um, and I can get it to 25. I don't necessarily know if it would be good against the rock type gym probably better than frost moth although i have been using frost moth relatively well but having sturdy is kind of nice let's get it up to level 25 at the very least uh i'll give it smackdown over rock throw and bulldoze over magnitude is good and he hit 25 and he is indeed evolving into a graveler right now so i could have a level 25 golem i am pretty committed to trying to beat this gym though with the three that I have. So perhaps we're gonna give Jim one another shot. I don't know, we'll have to see. But there is our awesome shiny Graveler, which again, I will evolve it into a Golem. It's gonna look sick as a Golem. But let me see what I can do for Jim one again. I found this shiny Clefairy here and I decided to give it to Toxic. He could, he could have it. I just had someone teleport to me. I'm like, hey, when do you guys can take this Clefairy? So enjoy it. I'm gonna try to take on the Jim again. If he leads Carbink, it's got Sturdy for sure. So he can set up. He's going to be able to set up no matter what I do. I don't think there's much I can do about that. So I'm kind of feeling like leading Shutterfly is still the play. And just kind of stalling out a little bit better this time. And understanding that like I have to save Fritter for the, the later part. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because if I Feather Dance him a few times, he's going to be forced to switch out either way. So let's do it. So he does lead with Carbank. It's the same kind of situation. We're going to go for the... Uh, I'm just going to go for the Aurora Beam this time. So we're gonna try the same exact strategy, but I have to just like, once he sets up Trick Room, just like kind of stall a little bit longer. He's gonna set up Stealth Rocks and Sandstorm if he wants. There's not a whole lot I can do there, but I at least have a better approach now. There's the Sandstorm. So here comes, I'm sure the Stealth Rock. Maybe I can hit him three times and, and knock him out before he gets a chance to do Stealth Rock and Trick Room. He's gonna get up Stealth Rock. So now it's like, can I stop him before Trick Room? It's the same thing this time. I don't think Aurora Beam's gonna do quite enough. It does, so I stopped the Trick Room actually, which is huge. And here comes the Lunatone, which was the issue last time. We're gonna go for the Struggle Bug. He power gems and just knocks us out, even with the Charty Berry. That's okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into Kite. And Kite can go for agility into Bubble Beam, maybe. Or just Bubble Beam. I kind of want to just Bubble Beam. He's going to Power Gem. The Charty Berry, he crits. Bubble Beam comes off. Deals some damage. It didn't do nearly as much as I needed it to, though. I'm going to Bubble Beam again. He's going to knock us out. So it's the same kind of situation. I think I'm going to lose again, dude. I'm going to Sucker Punch. Yeah, he got a couple crits there. Sucker Punch does enough. There's hope. Here comes Gigalith. We're going to Seed Bomb. It's can I knock out Gigalith and can I live a hit from Gigalith? We're going to find out, ain't we? Big Seed Bomb almost knocks him out. He goes to Rock Slide and misses. And we clutch it. I don't think it mattered that he missed. I think I was going to live it anyway. We're going to get our first badge. How do I do it? Slash AG badges. I don't know how to do it. AG badges. I don't know what the command is. GG, bro. We did it. We actually did it. I have won my first badge. It's exclamation point or slash PP for pocket pixels badges. Frost Mob Mantine Flapple, we did it! Epic bra moment, let's get it. The bounce back, baby. I actually have an extra Pokemon with this because there's a there's a Remoraid there. Why isn't the Remoraid shiny too? Well, there's our team either way. The beauties made it. And with the ice coming up next, it's gonna be very difficult for us. I'm gonna be real. This is really our secret, secret chance of beating the ice. If I can get a, I mean, dude, ice is gonna be really hard for us. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know how we're gonna beat it. I need a Yachi Berry and then some. So I'm gonna start prepping and planning for the ice type gym. We did obviously catch our newest member of the team, which is Nugget. I do have to EV train up Nugget and get him ready. It's got Sturdy, which could be good. Maybe give him Rock Polish and, and an item, and maybe we can get a get activated on a on a super effective hit with like a weakness policy. Rock Polish up and then sweep. Love the strategy. We'll see if it works out. Obviously, people have been building around. Oh, there's a giant A-Drive statue. How cool is that? 
Uh, I guess I'll do a quick tour. This guy built like a super cool rainbow shopping mall here. A lot of this has been developed since the last time I kind of flew around here. I love the A-Drive statue, bro. Thanks for that. And you guys can, of course, build to our coordinates. There's this giant thing, which I feel like... Was there two of these? I don't even know. This guy built a Grubbin statue on the water. This guy's got a super cool house. I love it. And people have built even further than this. Like, look at this. This dude built all the way out here. This guy built out here. Don't be discouraged if you can't get, like, right up next to us, you know? Pick a sweet spot to build a house. And come join us on the Pocket Pixels Red server, guys. On the next episode, we're going to take on the Ice-type Jam and see how that goes. I kind of already got my shiny, so we're a little bit ahead or behind. I don't know how you want to look at it, but this has been really cool, and I've been having a lot of fun, and I'm glad we were able to come back and beat the Rock-type Jam. My third try. These gyms are no joke, so if you... I mean, if you use the right types, it's no joke, but to do it as a shiny quest like this, they can be a little challenging at times, so... Show some love, like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Have yourself a wonderful holiday otherwise, and I will see you guys in the next episode of our Pixelmon series here on the Pocket Pixels Red Server. Go try out those brand new Christmas crates, guys. See if you can get that Galarian Articuno and all that cool stuff, and have yourself an awesome holiday. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out this one right here. Otherwise, you should totally check out this video. They're both awesome, you're pretty awesome, and I'll see you guys on the next one.